For all the ladies, and gents just to be fair, out there watching right now on our channel, put your hand down if you've experienced strolling around the mall and walking past a high-end shopping store that offers exclusive brands, designer fashion, fine jewels, art, and antiques. All of which made your eyes pop out and your jaw drop because of its staggering price. I see you blushing in the corner because reality slapped you hard. Imagine strolling into an aquarium shop and experiencing the same astonishment as in the previous scenario. Quite unimaginable, right? Because why would you feel that when all you ever have to see inside is fish? Well, that's where you got it all wrong. Because there is one species in the hobby that is not only fancy looking, but is the definition of luxury. You already have a clue if you've embarked on a long journey in this hobby. But if you're new, please join me as we unravel the top 10 most expensive betta fish in the hobby that's worthy of your every penny. All that valuable information is here at Aquarium Store Depot. The beauty of the betta is amazing. Their fantastic features would undoubtedly suit well if aquatic creatures had runway modeling. I mean, look at their color patterns, fins, and tails. We've already talked about betta fish in some of our previous videos. The only difference now is that we'll highlight the priciest breeds. Not all bettas are expensive. Many pet stores sell veil-tailed betta fish for under $10. But for the record, in 2016, the most costly betta fish ever sold was the Kachin Wodochai. How expensive? It sold for $1,530. Can you believe that? Well, if you don't, I'll prove to you how pricey these adorable fish are in this video. Want to know a list of expensive betta already? Sure you do. So give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and get your wallets ready, because we're finally heading to the top 10 expensive betta on this list. We're starting out with the fanciest fantail betta. Due to a rare genetic mutation, fantail bettas can sprout a second caudal fin. Go on and close your jaw because yes, these priceless fish have two tails. Due to their distinctive and vibrant fins, fantail bettas don't seem to have significant health issues and are beautiful fish to watch. Look how graceful their motion is, combined with their physical features. These incredible fish are scarce, but as professional breeders work to create them, they may become more common. Right now, a pair of these magnificent betta fish can cost you four or even five figures. We've yet to see one documented sale, but I'm sure when it happens, it's gonna surpass the current record. This is our next betta. All our Southeast Asian peeps out there, put your hands up, because you know this second betta on our list, the Kachin Warachai. Southeast Asian betta fish breeder Kachin Warachai is the creator of this masterpiece on your screen. In 2016, he created a magnificent placat betta in the colors of the Thai flag, which sold in an online auction for a mind-blowing 53,500 baht or $1,530. This fish's dorsal and ventral fin bases were white, and its body was deep blue with red edges. I had to spotlight this betta even though it isn't a breed because of its beauty and record status. Third on our list is the fancy copper indo. Although copper betta fish have stunning metallic scales, their hue can vary. They frequently have a blue shade and a shimmer that resembles copper. Prime specimens can be highly pricey, mainly if they're imported from Indonesia, a Southeast Asian nation renowned for its betta fish breeding industry. Peak Loa, a lovely specimen with a white body and an eye-catching red star, was auctioned for more than $600. That's one expensive betta fish. This next fish on the list is the wild betta with wild beauty. There are more than 70 different types of wild betta fish, and some of the most unusual ones command incredibly high prices. Despite lacking the vivid colors and lengthy fins of the farmed Siamese fighting fish, these fish are prized by collectors for their stunning natural beauty. A breeding pair of some of the most expensive and well known wild betta fish, such as betta hendra and betta macrostoma, may cost hundreds of dollars. Fifth bet on the list is the White Dragon King, giving me some Edward Scissorhand vibes. King bettas are massive, powerful fish with an aggressive personality. They are a variety of the well-known Placat betta, a fish explicitly developed for combat. 
An example of a crown variation is this one on your screen. The King Betta is a widely sought after fish because of its fantastic dragon scale gene, unique white color, and great size as well as strength. Our sixth awesome Betta is the Half Moon King of Gold. Bettas in gold are stunning fish to view. They appear surreal in an aquarium because of how they glitter. They were like your live gold fortunes that bring out the elegance in your tank. One stunning fish with a half moon tail, body, and pure gold fins was sold for $570. The Galaxy Rose Tail Betta is ranked 7th. Galaxy Rose Tails combine the characteristics of a Rose Tail Betta with those of a Koi Betta. They seem stunning because of their large fins and marbling appearance. Because they're uncommon, they sell for a high price. The tail stretches over 180 degrees and looks like a half moon. It's a stellar showcase fish in a community tank or a smaller tank with just one fish. Another betta that should be given a platinum plaque for being so expensive is the Rose White Platinum Dragon. The Rose White Platinum Dragon has enormous scales with a metallic shine due to combining a rare all-white betta with this attractive dragon scale characteristic. Due to the rose tail gene, these pricey betta fish have enormous fins and an extraordinary, gigantic caudal fin. You should be prepared to spend a lot of money on this classy betta breed. One stunning specimen with a black beard almost sold at an online auction for $700. Next on the list is the Half Moon Placat. The Siamese combat fish Placat bettas were bred for strength and force in their bites. Half moon bettas, which combine this conventional body form with a vast D-shaped tail fin, can be desirable with the proper color and scale pattern. One of the priciest betta fish breeds is the half moon placat, which has various color variants. High quality betta fish such as the dark nebula may sell for astronomical sums at auctions. I won't lie, but this last fish on the list made me say, wow, let's give it up for the true purple betta. The color purple is one that you have yet to see in a betta fish, despite its incredible range of hues. Due to their exceptional rarity, solid class purple bettas would be incredibly expensive if ever bred. Just look carefully at their color. They are very vibrant and luxurious. A natural purple betta fish would look stunning in an aquarium with a gloomy atmosphere. Betta breeders should aim to produce this fish, because I am ready to surrender my card. Actually, the cost of luxury betta fish depends on a few different things. The first is the fish's allure and beauty. Of course, many other bettas with lovely forms and colors cost a few bucks, but these are on a whole other level. One thing you should know about this fish is that its value increases based on rarity. But how would you know how rare a betta is? Let's find out by discussing some of their desirable and expensive features. First is their tail shape, which is one of their eye-catching features. The incredible range of fin and tail designs we see today result from selective breeding. The 180 degree smooth half moon betta fish, the spiky crown tail betta fish, and the pointy spade tail are just a few of the magnificent finnage seen in fancy breeds. There are also fish with more expensive tail shapes that are also uncommon, but their tails are not the only thing that's changed. The other fins have also seen some changes over countless generations. The elephant ear betta fish is an excellent illustration of a breed with enormous fins. These bettas are also called Dumbo bettas because of their vast pectoral fins. The second feature you should consider when checking out an expensive betta fish is the color and scale patterns. Because of the incredible diversity of colors they have, fancy male bettas are pretty popular. The legendary purple betta, for example, would cost a fortune to purchase, but almost all other hues are readily accessible. Thoughtful consideration should also be given to the color pattern. Solid colored bettas are more expensive than fish with two colors, while multicolored spotted and speckled varieties like galaxy bettas are more valued. The bold and exquisite scales of betta fish have been improved via careful breeding, like the mutation of the dragon scale that produces fish species with massive armor-like scales. And finally, there's the breeder's reputation. That's right, fish keepers do make a significant contribution to the expense of betta fish. Breeders have a reputation for producing fish with unique appearances. They've been able to charge more for their rare fish because of their brand name. Although some are in the US and other countries, Thailand is home to most of the top breeders. So go on and grab a plane ticket to Thailand and meet all these betta hustlers. And there we have it. 
the list of all the expensive betafish in the hobby was not that expensive to take care of. You heard it right, some betafish can be pretty pricey, but other investments are involved. While they don't require a vast aquarium, betafish can only briefly survive in a bowl or cup. Depending on the equipment's quality, getting everything you need to house a betafish might be inexpensive or pricey. Generally speaking, setting up a betta fish tank is inexpensive. So, one of the most affordable tropical fish tank settings in the aquarium hobby is maintaining a single betta fish. Suppose you want to know the essential items needed to keep an expensive betta fish. In that case, you can check out our official website at www.aquariumstoredepot.com where information about the hardware, decoration, maintenance, foods, and even plants to use in better aquariums is posted. Before I end this video, I want to tell you that a solitary male betta fish must be kept in a home aquarium. Males will battle with one another, and the outcomes are often deadly, which we don't want to happen. There are cases when advanced hobbyists have kept multiple males, but this requires a longer tank, lots of plants, and advanced knowledge outside the scope of this video. If you wish to fish other than betta, picking excellent tank mates and a bigger tank are essential. And that's all I wanted to add. I truly enjoyed sharing with you these expensive types of betta fish we featured. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you wish to take care of this fish or breed a new type of rare betta, I will support you wholeheartedly because it's likely that breeding and selling these cool new betta fish will bring in some money. And I know you'll share with me some of your ka-ching, ka-ching, you know what I'm saying? Okay, kidding aside, I hope this video helped you a ton. You can visit our YouTube channel and subscribe to have new aquarium-related topics on your feed. Thanks for watching, fish keepers. Till our next exciting topic, we'll see you soon.